How you doing? This is Keith Harrington. Um, uh, for the next few minutes, I'm going to go into the install of uh, my ID5100 ICOM ham radio into my 2023 Buick Enclave. Um, the, there was a few concerns I had uh, with doing the install, and uh, one of them I bring up here in this, in this video. And uh, uh, overall, the install went really well. I'm pleased with the way it looks. I'm pleased with, with the way it turned out. I think it's a uh, it's a perfect fit. I can remove it easily. I uh, didn't have to do any alterations to the vehicle and drill any holes. So that alone was, was worthwhile. So uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get into the video. Thanks. Okay, I in installed the, uh, the ham radio into the, my new vehicle, uh, 23 uh, Buick Enclave. And uh, it worked out good because originally the plan was to go ahead and run the wire to the battery. And there's a, there's a couple reasons for doing that. Um, well, one, one reason in particular, um, if you use an auxiliary port um, and um, you turn the car off, power off on the car, of course, you lose the power to the ham radio. So if you decided to use a handheld out in, out, um, in town, and you want to use the 5100 as a as a crossband repeater. Now you no longer have power to the radio, so that is the downside. So I'm going to have to figure out a game plan uh, for making that making that uh, making that change so I can keep the radio powered up. Pretty much this radio sets right in this little pocket right here, and I've got my antenna, and I'm going to go around the other side and show you how I got it hooked up. But um, this this is really uh, a, a good this is a good good setup here the way this is designed it's really easy to to take in and out so I've got the transceiver here and I can just I can I can take it right out of the vehicle one thing I want to do is get me a get a couple a couple of uh, little rubber rubber feet uh, I've got actually got these stick on tapes here my plan was to go ahead and cut some uh, some rubber shelving um, pieces and peel this off and put them right here just mainly to keep it from sliding underneath and uh, making noise up underneath. There's no reason to, to physically uh, secure it to the bottom. I want to be able to remove it as I need to. Uh, I also, uh, the, there's a long cable that come with, the power cable come with it, and um, it's too much. I had this had this uh, cigarette lighter jack, which is a heavy, it's heavy gauge. Uh, it's good for 20 amps. And this actually used to go, this went, this went to an inverter, and uh, I just cut the ends off and shrink tubed. Put terminal connectors on it slid the terminals up inside this connector and just taped it to keep it clean and um, keep you know crud and stuff out of it all right um what i've got to do right now i've got to make up some cables uh, or one cable uh the head control cable that comes with the 5100 is this one right here it's a it's a six six pin uh rj11 connector which is is typical and what i've got to do is go ahead and make one up um, using uh, the RJ11s uh, that's a little bit shorter that makes the connection I need. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and make up cable and crimp it. And uh, it, it should look a lot better in my vehicle. And uh, I think it'll think it'll do the trick. Okay, I've got, uh, got the feet on here, little, little rubber pads I put on here to keep it, it keeps it real from sliding. So when it goes up in the, underneath the console, it's not going to, it's not gonna slide at all, and it's uh, it's easy to remove, and uh, that that's my intention anyway to, to be able to take it out if I need to, and because uh, I won't I won't always have it in the in the car, but I wanna wanna have it hooked up in there when I when I do go on a road trips and what have you, and what I've also decided to do uh, this this cable here as bad as I hate to cut it up it is a uh, uh, you know it's it's a six conductor three pair, and uh, it it would just make make more sense instead of having to buy a whole roll of uh, this cable to do a do a you know make a cable probably not not much longer than maybe three feet I guess um, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this clean and uh, utilize this cable it just it just makes sense and instead of doing that so let me uh, let me go ahead and cut that right now and, and uh, get this ready to crimp Okay, I've got these wires um, pretty well prepared, ready to go into the RJ11. Uh, the 
the silver wire right here, the, the, the shield wrap, I guess, it goes around the white and the, and the red, uh, is there evidently for some noise uh, issues or whatever, keep, uh, uh, keep RF, RF and stuff from affecting um, that, those two lines. So those are all the way down that cable, this shielding was around the white and, white and the red. So I'm going to make sure I, I keep that as tight as I can so we don't lose the integrity of that. So, And um, like I say, the head, I really, this is my repeater channel here I use uh, for local repeater. So I can leave the head even in the compartment underneath here and uh, not even have it out. The audio comes up through the uh, through that opening on the bottom there, so it's, it's good and loud. Um, it, there's no problem there. And... Um, I think I think I'm good to go uh, overall. Just leaving it leaving it here up underneath and not even pulling it out unless I actually have to change channels. And uh, see it it hides it hides here pretty good. And uh, okay, the antenna is on the hood and uh, got it all set up and brought it into the A pillar. And it gets uh, got a little loop right here to keep the keep the water from rolling back into the a pillar so you got to make sure you do that because the water will run into the a pillar and then um, up under here uh, you you bring it into the a pillar and you get up underneath here and you pull it down pull the wire down and then run it across the top and then on around let me pull the seat back here and uh, it stays pretty much behind the plastic, so it's so it's hidden, and then it just comes back up to the radio. And as you can see, I got the radio pretty much. Uh, uh, you know, I've got a I've got a short cord on the head, on the faceplate, I should say, and uh, on the radio. You can see how I got it here. See, it's just got got it strapped to the side of the radio uh, with some some stick on here with some zip ties, and that keeps the cable clean. And, uh, Got a short, got a short cable on it, right here. Short cable, and it plugs into the jack right there in the back, bottom of the console. So everything's everything's very neat uh, and clean, and it's fully removable. I put some pads right there to keep it from sliding. And then all you do, like I say, you just, uh, when, you, when you get ready to use it, you put your coax up in the back, screw it on, and then lay it, lay it in the compartment. And see, it's it's it's, it's solid. It ain't it don't go no and nowhere. It doesn't, you know. And uh, the microphone actually goes out on the other side. I got a little got a hanger for the microphone on the other side. So that's where that goes. And then the, of course the head. The head can be put pretty much anywhere uh, up up top. It'll lay up on the kind of console or wherever. And uh, it's pretty well pretty well set to go. So anyway, that's pretty much it. And it's uh, very neat. And it's out of the way, inconspicuous. Uh, so, and uh, when we travel, I got I got my ham radio there in the car and uh, use it as I need it. All right. Well, I want to ch uh, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully, that was clear and and uh, to the point. Um, I'm going to be using the uh, the ham radio a lot now that I've got it in the mobile uh, a lot more probably than I get to use it on the base. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of glad I, I went in and did that install. And uh, as we travel and stuff, we will be using it more out on the road and and uh, testing different different areas and stuff. And, and I'm still working toward getting my uh, general license, which then I'll move into the HF band. And that'll open up some new doors there. So anyway, uh, please subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, we'll, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.